Hello! Today I'm going to walk us through the first part of a project uh, that would count for our first project in the course. I'm going to try to implement the game Lights Out. Lights Out is a logic game, 5x5 five five grid right here, and some of the lights are on, they're the white squares, and some of the lights are off, they're the gray squares. Your goal in the game is to turn all the lights off. And you do so by clicking and selecting certain squares. So I can select a light here that's on and it'll turn it off. It also turns on off the ones that are adjacent to it. And if a light that I click is off, then it will turn it on. And it'll also turn the ones on adjacent to it. So when you click somewhere, you are basically clicking a plus, a certain spot and the orthogonal ones around it. So your goal is to turn off all of the lights. This can get kind of complicated. So here's what I want to do. I want to implement this game in Java. So I'm going to open up a new project here in IntelliJ using my Java 11 version. I'm going to call it Lights Out Game. Okay, great. Let's make a package here. And inside that package, I am going to make a class, which I call Lights Out. <clears throat> okay, so this is the start of what we're looking for. I need to remember this grid. So I'm going to have my field up here, and it is going to be a private Boolean <clears throat> 2D array. Let's call it the grid. And then I also need a constructor. Public lights out. And as an argument, a parameter in here, somebody's going to tell me the size of the grid. Great. So here I can actually instantiate things. My grid is equal to a new Boolean and size, size. Now, Booleans are default false. <clears throat> so this would be all we do. But if you're going to go on and do something else with integers, or you want to set something up in a certain way, I'll show you the way that we can walk through and make sure that everyone is false. This is overkill, but we'll be able to walk through each piece of that first part of our 2D grid. And then let's walk through the second part. And for each of those spots, that spot i and spot j, I can set it equal to false. Like I said, this is the default state. This is not necessary right now, but in other situations, you will want to have this in your constructor. You create a 2D grid, you need to fill it in with things to get it all set up. Okay, so what else do we need for our lights out program? I would like to have another way to be able to see it. I can create this. Let's make a method, a public string to string. It automatically says I'm overriding something from the object class. I need to return a string. And so let's go ahead and get things to happen here. Uh, String s equals the empty string. Do my for loop that I did before. And i equals zero, i less than, I don't have size anymore. And so I'm going to use my field up here, grid.length, i plus plus, for int j equals zero, j less than. Well, I should be talking about this particular row in there, in your length, j plus plus. And then well, let's set up an if statement. We're going to say if grid i j, this is a Boolean, so if it's true, let's print off s plus equals the pound sign. Otherwise, if it's empty, s plus equals the period. <clears throat> 
Okay. And at the end of the day, we're going to return S. Good. IntelliJ is giving us some hints here. It says, you really want to use a string builder. You can. That's uh, something we haven't talked about yet. But if you want to do a conversion here, you could convert things to a string builder. It's a little faster. And this one says you could do an enhanced for loop. You could do this one as an enhanced for loop. So if you wanted to do that, you could. This is something that makes sense just from the basics. And so we're going to go with that. So I want to make a new class here just to separate things out. This is going to be my main class. And over here is where I'm going to say public static void main string bracket bracket args. And let's make a lights out game. And initialize it with a size of five. Perfect. And now we can print the game. Let's run this. Get things up and parsed and ready. Perfect. Oh, we just have a string of dots. Yes. Back here in Lights Out, I am adding in these dots, but after each row, I need to say s plus equals a carriage return. And if I do that, then I should be able to visualize my two-dimensional grid, five by five, these dots, everything is false. Okay, next video is going to be adding in lights turning on and off with toggling.